guys it's Ozzy Grimm with the gamers Grimm coming back at you with another custom vanilla starship build here in Starfield and as you just saw we are going to be going over the razor's edge today this is another one of my class C fortresses and I absolutely love this ship she is a bad bitch. She really just wrecks everything. Now, I have a lot of really good perks uh, to keep my particle weapons up and my turret damage up. So I do extraordinary damage, but I even think without any of the perks, she would just dumpster everything. And like all of my Star Fortresses, she has got all of the amenities that you could ever want. A wonderful layout uh, for you and your crew. And really just a customizable ship with lots and lots of cargo. Lots and lots of habs. This is definitely uh, one of my better ships that I think I've built so far. I absolutely adore this ship. I'm so glad. I fiddled around with it. It went through a couple of iterations. Uh, and when I finally settled on it, and I just was trying to come up with a name, I just started thinking about ACDC and was like, yeah, that's the perfect name. That's the perfect paint job, the Razor's Edge. And so that's what I went with. And boy, she is a good looking ship. So let's go ahead and head in. I like how I got my little shield hidden up under there. But we'll head in and you guys can see the hads that we have and uh, what the layout is. So we'll come in right here and there will be a ladder. It's the only ladder in the ship. But we will go to the port side first. Um, over here we just have a storeroom that is just for symmetry. Uh, because on that side we have the docker. But we have ourselves a workshop here. And uh, forward of that we have ourselves a armory. Um, you can make these two by ones. Anything you would like. Um, so bear that in mind. This is just what I like. And uh, <laughs> I try to have access to all of, my, uh, all of my workbenches. So we have an infirmary on the starboard side. And uh, forward of that we have a lab which could be made into a uh, computer banks or a battle stations uh, so you can buff your crew count if you have the crew count necessary for that but upstairs is where the living quarters are and i have to admit i really like the way the doors and uh, the layout of these three stroud eckland two by one uh, habs worked out see i've got three and uh, to the port side, I have the captain's quarters, which is really comfortable where I sleep. And then in the middle, I have a living quarters. And it managed to cut off all the pieces of a living quarters that you really don't want. Um, so there's just a galley and a kitchen. And this is sort of the, the mid part of the ship. Fits really well. And then to the uh, starboard side, we have a all-in-one berth. But with the way that the doors line themselves up, this is just where people can live. So this is almost like a complete, uh, you know, two by two or three by three living area that's really arranged quite nicely, if I do say so myself. I really enjoy the way this is laid out up here. Um, very comfortable and uh, only the one ladder, but that's because we really wanted to use this very cool, very nice uh, Viking cockpit from Stroud Eklund. And uh, that's the vast majority of the parts you will see on this ship. This is very much a Stroud Eklund build. But uh, since I'm doing the uh, video intros now, uh, I'm not going to go take off. You guys got to see her in outer space. Got to see a little bit of combat. I'm trying to change up the format, do it a little more complex, add a little more production value for you guys and see how that works out. So just keep that... Uh, Keep in mind that I'd really like you to uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you can. The channel is growing, and we would love to continue to grow with you. Um, so 
what we're going to do now is we are going to switch over to the uh, builder and we will go over the ship so that you guys can build this yourselves. All right, guys, we are back in the ship builder. And as you can see, I have the razor's edge pulled apart here. Uh, essentially down to the basic layout that you are going to need. Um, and so this is how you will lay out your ship. You will have these four three by or two by one uh, habs here. I just happen to be using Demos. Um, you could use any two by ones here that you want. Um, and they are connected by uh, two Hope Tech hab spines. And then there are two Nova cross passages here that connect to a companion way right in the middle. And that is your basic layout right here. And this will get you started on your ship. And you will see that here I have the uh, 120LD landing bay uh, attached to the bottom of this companion way. And this is, I didn't want to pull this cargo off because I used the cargo um, just as much uh, as an aesthetic piece in this build uh, as any of the cosmetic pieces that you can have. So this is how you will lay this out and get this really nice cargo, uh, base cargo of 7160. You will have two Galleon S204s that you will stick right here. And then you will have two 30T cargo holds from Sextant Systems that will go in front of those and then you will have one two three four five six of the Degama uh, 1020 cargo holds along the side um, aesthetically speaking I just like the way these look with these angles sort of going up into the uh, center part of the ship you could use anything you want here um, just be aware that we are very close to the uh, weight limit on this ship. So uh, be mindful of that, but you could trim a little bit of weight with some of these decorative pieces that you see here. So that keep that in mind. You don't have to use these cargo holds. I just like the, the silhouette that it creates going down the center of the ship. So underneath you will need uh, a lot of landing gear. You will need one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the Acculander 11 landing gears from Stroud Eklund. And you will attach uh, some Stroud cowling. I forgot to pull these off uh, to the front here to give you the length that you need. Or you could put some more landing gear there if you really want. Um, I might do that because I could trim about six mass just by adding another set of landing gear instead of the... Uh, cowling but uh, you can use either or in that scenario um, and we're going to put the shield on now because we hide the shield on this build it's going to go right on top of the uh, 120 LD landing bay I have this one it's uh, you get it from the red mile it's really nice shield um, but you could put any shield there that you want as long as it's got the uh, the low profile and you can even attach one of the side uh, shields there if you really want to. Alternatively, you can put your gas tanks under here if you want to use uh, a different set of gas tanks and put your shield on top. But I want to hide my shield, so that's where it's going right now. And so we will add the second set of Habs, and it's just three of the two by ones from Stroud Eklund. And again, I have a captain's quarters next to a living quarters next to an all-in-one berth. It creates this nice kind of flow uh, through these three habs and they will go just like that right on top, like you see there. And uh, that's where your one ladder will be. We of course have the Viking CP uh, 220 cockpit. Uh, makes this build look really good. I tried a lot of different uh, cockpits with this build and man this this cockpit just goes well with this particular build it really is just nice and uh, it just works um, so we will go over here we got a lot of decorative pieces um, that we're going to put on 
Now let's go ahead and throw these Nova braking engines on first. They go uh, right in front of your cargo hauler and uh, just matches up really well under the, uh, the ship there to just really this cool approach to the uh, thing. And in the front, we will have this little setup here will be a Stroud Cap A bottom, a Tayo forward sensors. I was really happy to find a build that I could use these in that didn't look dorky. And uh, that's one of the things I like about it. And on the side, I have a, a forward facing a Demos bumper and it attaches directly to the front just like that. And it is mirrored over here uh, on the starboard side as well, like you see there. And that's uh, what you'll do. And then along the tops, we have uh, Stroud Cap A, the Stroud Cowling, the three, the three LAPT Cowling. I go with these because that's 15. If you use three of these, it's 15. If you use one of these, it's 10. So you save uh, five weight by going with this longer one. And uh, there's another uh, one LAPT Stroud Cowling that attaches to the first of one of our mini mini engines and it goes on top just like you see there and all of this is mirrored over here on the starboard side as well and we are of course using the sal 6830s if you haven't got these by all means go and get these as soon as you can if uh, you have to save scum then you save scum to get these engines they're the best they're the best engines in the game. I don't care what anybody says. But we'll do some uh, bit of decorative uh, snapping here. We'll take some of these Nova cowlings and we'll put them just like you see here. Sort of fill up that space. And then of course I have the M3, uh, M30 Ulysses Helium-3 tanks. Uh, really great tanks when you can use the Nova cowling right alongside it to create these kind of cool swooping curves on your ship like you see here uh, and you gotta love the lipstick red baby that's always real nice um, we do have some Tayo side caps that go uh, really well with the uh, forward sensors that you see here uh, one of the few times I get to really use the Tayo, Tayo sensors and uh, the side caps, they, they match with each other really well, but unless you're building specifically for them, they typically don't go too well on, on a lot of ships. But we'll go over to the uh, port, uh, like winglet, I guess is what you would call this. Um, it is two Stroud cap A's, uh, bottom and four bottom, like you see here. Um, and it's attached to a companionway with a window. And then we have another one of our engines. But I have one, two, three of the Disruptor 3340 Alpha Auto Alpha turrets. Very powerful, very nice. And it will attach just like you see here to the side. And it will come out there. The companionway, you could put something structural there, not have a companionway. Uh, I just like symmetry. And uh, because over on this uh, starboard winglet, we have, of course, those Cap A's and uh, three of the PBO 300 Auto Alpha turrets. Very nice weapons. My favorite weapon in the game. Just, just an absolute uh, lovely weapon uh, to use when you're using turrets. And, of course, I have the Connect Pro Doctor from Stroud Eklund. And attached to that is the SAL 6830 engines. And it attaches just like you see here. And uh, that starts to really bring this really cool profile of the ship in line. And uh, of course we do have our Pinch 8Z reactor and it will attach directly to the back like you see here. And then we have the SGD 3300 grav drive. Uh, basically the stuff that you use. and. Uh, Got some decorative uh, Demos bellies here that we're going to put uh, just to really make that back area look less crappy. Um, so we'll just snap those on. And then we have some decorative pieces here, some Demos spine A's, and then some Demos spine D's to give us some 
nice fins or spoiler effect on our uh, on our ship here just nice to have those and then of course we have a little bit of a nova radiator that uh, you can put anywhere on top here we'll just put it there this time i think i had it in the back earlier but uh now we come to the part that's uh, the least vanilla we're going to do a little bit of a snapping trick we're going to snap uh, the uh, sal 6830 to the bottom there because we need one more ship to really get us go one more engine to really get us going and then so we'll just duplicate that and attach it and uh, we all have two engines kind of occupying the same space so and that is the razor's edge guys i will leave a parts list down in the comments um, so you know where to go and how much money you're going to need to build this bad bad ship she is just something else a lot of fun to fly just murders everything and has a really wonderful layout uh, very comfortable for those of us who really just like to spend most of our times in the game in the ship and so i want to thank you guys for coming along today i hope you enjoyed the video remember to like subscribe and share and uh, we will see you next time on the gamers Today.